Good afternoon, welcome to this week's Channeled Energies of the Week. Apologies that I wasn't here live last week, had a very croaky uh, throat amongst other things, um, but I'm back now. Um, so yeah, here with the Channeled Energies from today, the 27th of February until Sunday the 5th of March 2023. My goodness, can you actually believe it's going to be March this week? <laughs> Time flying by. So I hope you're all well and um, feeling good. Um, so yeah, so looking at what's going on this week so that you've got an idea of what might be coming up for you this week, why things may play out a certain way gives you an idea of what to expect, um, helps you navigate the week um, and we check in with you normally on a Wednesday just to see how you're getting on. So um, before I uh, start, just a reminder that um, I'm one of 14 uh, experts, one of 14 speakers at um, Magical Creators Magical March event which starts on Wednesday. I think it kicks off with the amazing Melanie Moore, who will be tapping away amongst other things and uh, showing us how to create uh, what, what it is we want in our lives going forward. So she's on the 1st of March and then from then on there's a speaker nearly every day in March. Mine's on the 24th when it will be similar to my spirit guide hotline and you'll have a chance to have questions um, answered amongst other things. Anyway, if you're looking for some inspiration, if you're looking to move forward um, or just get, yeah, just get some inspiration from the amazing uh, speakers that Inga Dexner has got lined up for you, then have a look. Um, you can get an all access pass, which means you can tune into all of them for just £111 or the £22 each. Uh, you'll get the recordings as well and therefore you'll have access to them, you know, for much longer than that. So um, have a look. Uh, March, as you're going to find out in a minute, um, is a, a quite a power packed month. Um, lots of things going on in the cosmos. Um, lots more sort of focus being available and for those of us who feel like we've been going through something whether it be with ill health or just generally feeling out of sorts we're going to start to feel like we're coming out the other side so another good reason for why you might want to be supported in March with um, with the um, magical March magical creators event that is a mouthful. Anyway, take a look. So let's get on with um, with the channeling. And of course, you know, you know where I am. If you are struggling, there's lots of ways I can help you. Not least with a session with my guides, um, or you could avail yourself of the Spirit Guide Hotline, which is just fifteen pounds for one question. It's thirty pounds for five and sixty pounds for twenty questions. So, you know, that's nice and easy. You send me your questions on Messenger or WhatsApp and I send you a verbally channeled guidance, a response to your question within about 24 hours. So, anyway, let's um, get on with it. <laughs> okay, because that's what you're here for. All right, so I'm just going to channel my guides now. Hello everybody, it's a pleasure to be with you again this week. As Alwyn says, she was unable to verbally channel us last week, but I do, we do believe that she did do a written version. So this week's interesting because you're going into March, and March promises to be quite a month energetically, cosmically, um, however you view things. Um, a lot of you have been going through up-leveling, through a transitional phase, um, in your spiritual path, along your spiritual path, which means some of you have been suffering with ill health, whether it be cold, bad backs, uh, joint problems, problems with your sight, maybe headaches, 
throat problems and this is all to do with you shedding uh, old versions of you so that you can move forward with greater certainty because as uh, you hit March as humanity hits March more and more people are waking up uh, spiritually and that's going to be uh, felt by you okay so that's March there's much more information about March that's going to come up especially next week with the full moon and various things happening with other planets which we'll talk about next Monday so for this week you're coming obviously it's the end of February you as we say we you may well feel you've been through something and you might start to feel as you're coming up to March on Wednesday that you're starting to come out of that now there's generally um, more focus and greater clarity available to you also a feeling of more motivation as well because some of you um, have been feeling a lack of motivation but that's okay it's because you've been going through this transition when you're going through a transition it's very difficult to start something new to have that focus that you need all right so don't beat yourselves up about that just know that was all for a reason and uh, you will find that as March begins and you get more and more into March but this week included you'll feel like you're realigning to what it is you want to do what you want to do next and just to say you know you're very well supported by the universe to reach out for help if you need it but generally asking your guides your angels to support you and let them guide you it's very much been about surrender and trust um, recently when you've not known perhaps why things are happening in a certain way just knowing that there's not much you can do about them apart from trusting that you're you're on the right path um, it just might be a slightly zigzaggy path <laughs> compared to the one that you thought you were on and it's all okay because you'll absolutely end up where you need to be so a bit more uh, you know digging into that feeling of trust and maybe surrender as February finish it finishes off coming into March feeling much more realigned so there's definitely a realignment rather than an alignment to the old the old have gone you are new <laughs> you are sparkly and new coming up to the spring equinox of course in March as well so there's lots going on um, so just hang on in there so to speak bear with the changes you know in your heart of hearts you've changed you know your soul is now becoming more and more um, aligned or realigned with its purpose okay and that's absolutely fine and wonderful in fact so um, you may feel a bit emotional that's okay again that's just with the letting go um, watch uh, not watch pay your intuition um, most of your in your intuition has risen you know it's um, become sharper really listen to your intuition especially towards the end of this week when it's really important what is your heart intuition uh, and emotional intuition as well trying to tell you okay you know you have all the answers really within you it's just that um, lots of uh, you and you know we're not criticizing look for outside validation and compare yourselves to others and really you have everything you need you are part of a bigger picture you're part of your own bigger spirit team and you know as long as you keep checking in with your intuition your body as well what your health is telling you maybe what your emotions are telling you you cannot really go wrong so a lightning in a way of uh say the February effect um, and coming into this feeling of of being where you need to be okay or certainly heading in that direction which is all good but with everything you know when you uh, realign when you come to sort of that new position if you like it may feel wobbly <laughs> that's a technical term you may feel wobbly at first um, so this is why again just asking the universe for support friends as well of course not just the universe but you know anything where they can help sort of steady you guide you um, 
just know that you're you are supported all right and you're very much on the right track even though it might be as we said slightly different to what you envisaged maybe even at the beginning of the year all right so we hope that helps you have a wonderful week notice how you're feeling notice your intuition um, if you get you know insights for getting something going something started to do it it's a really really good time whereas previously to this you may have tried to stop but not been able to and that's okay but now certainly from midweek onwards it should feel a lot easier all right so uh, we will be back uh, next week and we wish you a wonderful week okay so i hope that um made sense and it helps you um actually i felt quite good when i was channeling that because obviously i chat you know i'm channeling it i'm getting all the information through i feel quite happy like <laughs> not that i feel unhappy <laughs> when i channel normally but it feels i feel energetically like things may have shifted as you know i haven't been well either and that is definitely part of my shedding of whatever it is <laughs> i've been letting go of um so yeah so just know that and it's nice to know that when we are going through these transitions you know we can't be as focused as we want to be because we really need to look after ourselves all right so i hope that makes sense and i hope you have a lovely uh, week